Thursday, February 24th, 2022, Russia invaded Ukraine. Now, we've got friends in Ukraine. We've got people that come to our church from Ukraine, and we've been praying for them, and we need to pray for them and pray for the people of Ukraine. Uh, this is a terrible, terrible thing. This is going to cause a lot, a lot of pain and suffering. But people have been asking me, does this have anything to do with Bible prophecy? And I thought of three things that are impacted by this decision of Russia to invade Ukraine. First of all, Jesus, when he gave a list of the signs of the times in Matthew chapter 24, one of the first signs he listed was wars and rumors of wars. Now, that, there's always little wars going on, little skirmishes within countries going on. But this war could have global implications because of the East and the West and nuclear powers that could uh, be drawn into this. This could be World War III. We, we don't think it's going to be, but it could be. So wars and rumors and wars. Second, the Bible's very clear in Ezekiel 38 and 39 that Russia and a confederation of nations are going to join together, Gog and Magog, in a march to try to invade Israel in the end times. Well, in order for that to happen, Russia has to become an aggressive, uh, attacking military power. This move into Ukraine shows Russia to be exactly that. Unreasonable, uh, aggressive, attacking, invading. So that one, the stage is being set for. The third thing I thought of was the fact that there's going to be the rise of a strong political leader over Europe. Right now, Ukraine is not technically part of the European Union, but the other nations around it, many of them are, the Baltic nations, that were once part of the Soviet Union. And Russia's probably going to eventually try to take those back as well. Well, if that happens, that's going to bring the European Union and NATO into a global conflict, which could involve nuclear weapons. In the midst of this conflict, there's going to arise a political leader we read about in Daniel chapter 9 and Revelation 13, who's ultimately going to be the Antichrist. Now, it's interesting, right now in the European Union, the, the symbol of the European Union is a woman riding on a beast, which is uh, indicative of what's described in the book of Revelation for this global Antichrist. Beyond that, their parliament in France is built in the model of the Tower of Babel. Very interesting. Beyond that, there's 679 seats for the delegates in the parliament, but seat number 666 is intentionally left empty. Very interesting. That's the mark of the beast. So what's happening with Russia invading Ukraine is a, is a forerunner of probably this rise of a strong political leader over Europe. What does all this mean, Dave? Well, what this means is Jesus is going to come very soon. So it's time for you to get right with God. It's time for you to make sure you're saved. It's time for you to get busy about eternal things because Jesus is coming very soon.